Okay, in this video, I'm going to talk about the SQL Server integration services. I'm going to talk about what, how to import the data from the flat file into the SQL Server table and not a single file but a multiple file. I just want to show it to you how to import the multiple file into the table. Now actually I have a table that's in a DBO authors 2 which is actually the very same table as the author table from the pubs database. If you if I select the top of the as you can see there are no rows into that table as you will see okay now let's move to the visual studio i'm going to start with a new project once i select the project it will ask for the integration and i am going to select uh, import data to SQL Server and I'm going to click OK now that it has actually it will create a default package it will give it a name the package dot DTSX I have I need to rename it it's better to rename the package in the very beginning you can always rename it afterwards also import data to SQL Server SQL SQL Server okay, just this just because it's a demo otherwise you would okay it's asking me do you want to rename the package as well I say yes otherwise it can create a problem later okay now that I have a package now what do I need to import the file before I start to import I let me show you the files okay here are the authors this is the author for CA that has arrived. Simple, suppose, assume that this is the author CA from the California. This has arrived from one place, and there was another file, the flat file, that was for the UT, and it has arrived from a different, different state. And you need to put both the data into the one table. Okay, as simple as that thing. So, what would you actually require? Because you are going to do a use a multiple files. So, first thing, let's okay. First, let's bring the data flow task onto the control flow. Now, I have a data flow task. Means, I can actually go to the when I double click, it goes to the data flow. So, before I go to the data flow. I can actually I need to bring one more task here that's for each loop container okay this is one where we will actually use the we need to actually run it through each file that's how the each file loop container will work okay I will double click it and I need to drag this thing in bit in it because I need to actually execute the data flow task for each in that loop once I drag it inside, this becomes a part of the data flow task becomes a part of each flow each for each loop container. If you move it, it also moves with it as you can see. I need to configure the each loop container. Here is a collection. As you can see, for each file enumerator, you can not see anything else to configure here. But if you click it again, again select it the same thing, you will be able to see the what you can configure. So you, as you can see, it doesn't have. It is saying C colon slash this thing. Okay, the I will go and select the text file. Click OK. This is my path, and this is a folder. And instead of selecting the folder and this is what I will select I want authors because I know that the last two characters are for the state so I will give it txt if I want to verify the name I can always go and verify the name here it is as you can see author is there 
okay so this is done I have qualified the name I don't have actually selected this is actually I have done it and then I have come to the variable mapping I need to create a variable also so I can say new variable okay and I can say file path and I will leave it to this thing I can say read only but don't need to say it click OK expression is done click OK now that I have done this thing now I need to actually go to the data flow or I can click double click here and also go to the data flow now I need to take the flat file source once I take the flat file source I double click it I go to the new I will say flat file authors now that I have ok export data to SQL server authors table ok and then we are actually going to I need to actually before even though I am going to use multiple files I need to configure the first one so this is configure and the first column is the data column name is the first row okay so I will actually select this thing columns now you can see this data is perfect here is a suggested type but we will work out you can do many things preview it so far so good columns or output ok click ok now that I have configured this thing I need to actually configure this thing also so I need to click properties bring it here go to the expression and I need to say connect string because I am using the connect string for multiple files so I need to bring that variable here which I defined at a file path I need to drag it here and this becomes a file path and I click OK and that's it I have configured the flat file source now I will configure the destination once I configure the destination I can bring it here ok cannot ok sorry this sorry this is source only I need to bring the destination so I need to actually drag the destination here and this is it this time I need to go to adventure works as you can see okay, so for this is good now I need to create go to the tables no uh, this is wrong I will actually I need to go to the test and I need to go to the tables that authors to okay now I can say preview so far so good nothing is there because no data is there here and you can see it automatically mapped to everything everything so far and that's done and I can say click OK but as you can see this is not configured okay we will come to this thing very strange if I try to run this package now though the package is complete if I try to run this package it will give me an error okay not because there is something wrong but because there is the conversation is not taking place let's uh, run it okay it goes to the thing okay it has gone to the file it has gone through it but let's see what the data has come okay let's run the data and you can see it has gone through and we have got the 17 all 17 but there was a problem if there had been a problem it would have because this is a conversion you can see there is a big problem it's giving, giving us the error truncation may occur so if you needed to configure it you could actually have added uh, one more step in between that is known as you can have add one more transform which was called the uh, let me show it to you
okay data conversion okay this would be the actually the uh, step in between L okay now let's right now break it out okay and I need to connect this thing to here okay and this thing again back to here of course I need to reconfigure it preview click OK mapping okay now in the data conversion I need to actually select all the this thing now it says copy of this thing now because this is actually showing me the length of the text file if I needed to configure it I will actually need to go and see what the exactly so I go to the author table and say design to find out what the fields are and then I configure it accordingly so it is back at 11 so I can actually say 11 here and then I can again go back next one is 40 20 12 okay so 40 20 12 okay then the, let's go to the address 40 20 and 2 that's okay 40 20 and 2 and then there is 5 and then last one is a bit okay so last one is five second one bit is i need to change it to the boolean because it's not string bit is always described as a boolean so i can say boolean okay and uh, now i'm going to say click okay but there is a problem but the problem is that i not here this is configured correctly the problem is here is still because the mapping has to be changed now now i have got lots of many copies that i need to configure it correctly this one so I need to delete all these connections and I need to actually recreate the connections from the new one I need to select them need to delete them now I will go and select the authors and drag it to the authors ID AU name to the AU I'll name AUF name to the AUF name copy of the phone to the phone copy of the address to the address copy of the city to the city okay let's move down oh, uh, copy of the state to the state copy of the zip to the zip copy of the contract to the contract okay now that I have got everything corrected click OK and as you can see that arrow has disappeared the information that was telling that the data would be truncated even from this thing it is gone I can save it I can go here I can actually go to the query part of it and I can say truncate this table from this database once I truncate this table and I can run it, execute it. Truncate table. Okay. Now it is going to be okay. And let's execute it. And that table has been truncated. If I say select, now there are no rows here. Now I need to run the package once more to check out whether this is perfectly okay. So I can actually execute the package and you can see it ran perfectly there were no problems and we had done the data conversion also and we have everything done so that's it and the last law step again we will execute the statement and see you will see that all the data is there perfectly and that's it thank you very much for watching bye bye